Hey guys, just pulling up to our next destination here at Avery Brewing. beers we've never tried here before so yeah okay. this is the chowda ipa simcoe ella and jerry little hops we we'll blend mm. oh yeah 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 i really like that one hence i like all ipas Oh, interesting. Hmm. You can definitely tell that, like, that there are three hops in there, that it's like a mixture of hops because you're getting like, different flavors from all the hops. Hmm. Chow gum. It's definitely an IPA, like definitely hoppy. So if you're not into IPAs, this obviously would not be for you. <laughs> it's a beer that we like, like an IPA that we drink frequently that must have Simcoe hops because it has a similar flavor to that. That one was super yummy. I could drink a whole full pour of that. <laughs> the cool thing too is that looking at this menu, like a lot of these beers you can get growlers of. Like almost every beer they offer you can get a growler of, which is cool because a lot of times like specialty beers or like rare beers, they don't offer growlers because they don't want it to like move quickly. Andy's, Andy's mom. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the one I'm most excited about. This is my jam. So tequila barrel aged sour with pretty hair. Yes. Barrel aged though. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Alright, taste it. Alright. Taste it. <laughs> oh wow. Definitely got a different aroma to it. That's I sure. love the tequila barrel aged. It gives it that like bite, like you get in the smell. Your face alone said it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Are you kidding me with this? This is so good. Wow. That was even better than I thought it was going to be. I'm super impressed with that. This is like so unique. You can't find anything like this. No. But I think it must be like the prickly pear kind of balances it out and gives it a more sweet, drinkable yeah. flavor. Yeah, it has a. It's got a very unique kick to it. And then similar to this one, we were trying to decide on between Andy's mom. <laughs> It's a tequila barrel aged. <laughs> I don't know, the more I drink it, the better it gets, but yeah, 
that's definitely different. This is my jam. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is my jam. My taste buds are having a party. <laughs> It's a play on the song Carry On My Wayward Son. However, it has a like a wine word. <laughs> I think it's carry nyan. Yes. Carry nyan. That's close enough. Carry nyan, my wayward son. It's a barrel aged beer slash grape hybrid made with these silly carry nyan grapes. You should make that face for all of them. <laughs> no, I really like this one. You do? Really like this one, yeah. Look at this. The interesting thing, I don't know if you can pick this up, but like, ooh, in the light kind of can. Look at this color. It literally is like if you were to have a little bit of wine left in your glass and just like refill it with beer. <laughs> it's that color. It's really cool. Intriguing. If you're a wine drinker and you just happen to be in a brewery with, you know, with your man, he dragged you to drink some beer, this is what you order right here. This is almost like wine. It, it is. It has that, like, that smooth, like, silky mouthfeel, like a wine. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I could drink that all day. That is very good. Going into it, the smell, you wouldn't expect the flavor to come out of there, but... Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Cool, right? So all of these you can't buy in store, correct? Correct. Yeah, correct, yeah. Uh, when I see Avery in the store, like, obviously, we love Maharaja, the IPA. Yeah. Um, but there aren't a lot of, like, go-tos for us, I feel, like, liquor store-wise that we pick up consistently. Avery, but actually going to the brewery and like trying these varieties it's like wow this is like this is makes talent it. like this is crap you talking about crap this is craft beer like makes you are... appreciate their regular beers more yeah especially when you try stuff outside the box like some of this stuff never seen this before we've been to countless breweries mm -hmm. and nothing nothing quite similar to it and that's i think that's the excitement of going to the actual brewery instead of just looking through the liquor store but i'd be interested to hear like what you guys think about white rascal like is it one of your favorites do you not like it i find that it's kind of like polarizing like either you love that flavor or you're not a fan of that flavor so i'd be interested to hear like what everyone has to say about that beer because that's popular you can find that like nationwide in oh, the yeah. liquor stores the white rascal so even if you've never tried that before taste it and let us know what you think i think that would be fun <laughs> i mean look at this thing this is countless beers. So next we have the Out of Mind Coffee Stout. Um, oh, it's got a Cabernet barrel aged Brazilian coffee. Here we go. It's actually very smooth. You get a good sense of coffee flavor. It tastes like good coffee flavor though. It's not one of those coffee stouts that just kind of tastes like every other uh, coffee you've had. It tastes like actually good coffee. That's like espresso in beer form. <laughs> now I know why you like that. I like it a lot. Oh. <laughs> that was like, have you seen on Instagram the Owen Wilson? Oh yeah. Like the Owen Wilson. Wow. That was me. <laughs> you get here, it's very overwhelming with how many beers they have to offer. But we feel like the menu does a great job of explaining them. Um, so if you just read the description, you're going to get a good understanding of what you're actually ordering. I wouldn't be afraid to order anything because all the ones we've had today are, are outstanding and we wouldn't normally order these, but. Um, all the beers we've had here are just awesome. Well, you know what? The staff is super helpful and super friendly. Enjoy it, so much appreciated. Thank you, Avery. 